Hey, how's it going out there? Hey, today we're going to go over the Norman Speed Clips. Um, I haven't used them yet. I just bought a couple of packs. I think I'm really going to like them. And I've learned a few things by listening to some people on why you should use them. And, and maybe you don't want to use them. Or maybe you have a different kind of a clip that you use. But let's go over the Norman Speed Clips. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Today, I want to go over the Norman Speed Clips. Now, I listen to a few podcasts. One of my favorite podcasts is Bass Talk Live. So if you're not into tournament bass fishing, it's probably not your thing. They talk a lot about, you know, the tournament trail and the anglers and all that stuff. For me, it's a great podcast. I love it. Pick up some fishing tips, quite a few actually. Uh, but this year, they started what they're called a Day 4 with Frank Scalish. So Day 4 with Frank Scalish is all about tackle. And man, he is giving it up. He has given up a lot of great tips. Uh, guy's been fishing forever. Uh, was on the Tournament Bass Trail forever. Fished all over the United States. Really good show. So, but it's day four is what they call it. So, go to YouTube, Bass Talk Live. It's BTL, and look for the day four series with Frank Scalish. They're absolutely wonderful. They're great. He gets a little more in depth with the colors than I care, but you know, very informative. Anyway, and he talks a lot about them giving you extra action on a crankbait and also getting rid of these split rings. And I'll go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm doing and what these look like. Okay, so the discussion has been about these split rings on top. And they give the bait more action and they give you a good place to tie off to. But I've heard a couple of different versions that you should and shouldn't do. They say you shouldn't tie right in the middle where they come together. And then I've heard others say that you should. So I'm actually fairly confused, thoroughly confused. And I know you probably can't see it, but that's where the split rings come together. And some people say tie right in the middle of that and others say tie on the opposite side of that. So I'm really not sure which is best but you have this option. It's called a Norman Speed Clip. And unlike a traditional barrel swivel with a little clip on it, they, if you know what I'm talking about, the brass piece that holds it together always comes loose and they're a real pain. These are pretty easy to handle. Put it on there, twist the bait around, and it's on there. And it gives the bait plenty of movement. And listening to Frank, if you see there, you've got a good area to tie your line to. It's not going to give you any problems. It's not going to wear on your line. And it's a fairly easy clip to install. Hey, another thing, if you guys hadn't seen it, if I hadn't showed you that, I like to take these little blades and put them on the back of a lipless crankbait and make it even more weedless. Uh, you know, these things are known for being able to pull through grass and I throw them in a lot of wooded cover. And I got that off of Mark Daniels Jr. Um, video and I used it for a good portion of last year and it really does work good. Hooked a lot of fish. Uh, can't say it, it hurt, helped or hurt my hookup ratio, but really good tip there by Mark. Cause it definitely does make it more weedless. 
All right, we got that one off. Hey, and these, uh, these pliers here, they're relatively cheap on Amazon. And uh, man, they cut line really good. I like to keep a pair of these in my front pocket. Let's put a speed clip on here. All right, there we go. Now this, I had always tied my spooks. I'd always tied the line straight to my top waters because they don't come with anything. Um, they say that really you should put one of these on there to give it give the bait more action. So we'll slip one on there. Okay, that easy. Now, whether you would want to leave this on your line and change it with each bait, that's a personal preference. Um, they are a little expensive. They're about 75 cents a piece. A bag of 10 is going to cost you, you know, over seven bucks. So, that's completely up to you guys. Anyway, Norman Lure Speed Clips, they do make some different type and different shapes of clips, and I won't say they're better or worse. It's just I've heard three pros talk about the Norman Speed Clips, and that's what they use. And that's what you want with these types of baits. With these, the poppers, you want that bait, when it's slack, when you jerk on it, you want that bait to be able to dart to one side or dart to the other. So that's the advantage of these speed clips. They give that bait a lot more movement. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you know, I'd feel bad if I didn't tell you about another top angler out there, 40 years experience, giving up great tips. Uh, Randy Blockett. It's called the Intuitive Angler. Um, the guy is phenomenal. He does phenomenal things with baits as far as how to rig them, little tips and tricks. So go check him out as well for your, for your bait rigging tips and things like that. And Bass Talk Live, day four with Frank Scalish. So hey, we'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Let's get out on the water and have a great day.